No matter how useful they are and how calm they look, dams are outright dangerous, just a step away from bringing the next catastrophe in the world. From Hoover Dam defying gravity to Monticello Dam with its deadly hole, here are 10 most dangerous dams in the world. Located in Clark County, Nevada State, Hoover Dam was the world's biggest dam at the time of its construction in 1931, where it solved the problem of the overflowing Colorado River with its sleek design and brilliant American engineering. The construction of this 221 meter high dam was not a walk in the park, as working conditions at the Hoover Dam were abysmal. The temperature often topped 100 degrees, and around 100 individuals perished as a result of work-related accidents, such as falling objects or the scorching desert heat. Hoover Dam is famous for many reasons. It protects Southern California and Arizona from the disastrous floods, provides water to irrigate farm fields, and is a tourist attraction too. The water here defies gravity due to high pressure of wind, and people love it. But people loving it does not lessen its dangers. If this dam breaks, it would affect millions of acres of fields and lives of thousands of people, as many movies have shown while portraying the collisions of Hoover Dam. This one heck of a dam also goes by the name of Villarino Dam in Salamanca, Spain, and interrupts the course of the River Tormes situated 5 kilometers from the village from which it takes its name, Almendra. Its construction started in 1963 and opened in 1970. The arch dam forms part of the hydroelectric system with a group of many other dams known as the Saltos del Duro, which means the Duro Drops in English. The reservoir that backs up behind the dam covers 86.5 square kilometers and contains 2.5 billion cubic meters of water. Imagine how much destruction a single crack in this dam could bring. The dam is more than half a kilometer wide and at a height of 202 meters, one of Spain's tallest structures. Standing at 140 meters high and holding back 30 times the volume of Sydney Harbor, the Gordon Dam also goes by the name of Gordon River Dam. It's a major gated double curvature concrete arch dam with a controlled spillway across the Gordon River located in southwest Tasmania, Australia. The impounded reservoir is called Lake Gordon and adrenaline junkies just love diving it. The 198 meter Gordon Dam wall was constructed with 154,000 cubic meters of concrete, makes it the tallest dam in Tasmania and the fifth tallest in Australia. Lake Gordon holds 12,359,040 cubic meters of water and at its full capacity is crowned as the largest lake in Australia. This concrete arch dam is built across the Zambezi River at Kariba Gorge on the border between Zambia and Zimbabwe and is often confused regarding its location. Construction of the monstrous Kariba Dam began in 1956 and ended in 1959. The structure is 128 meters in height with a crest of 579 meters in length and 1,032,000 cubic meters in volume. The dam creates Lake Kariba and supplies a whopping 6,700,000,000 kilowatt hours of electricity annually, generated by Kariba North Bank for Zambia and South Bank for Zimbabwe, respectively. The construction of the dam was no less than a huge mess in itself, as it required the resettlement of more than 30,000 Batanka tribes, people of Zambia, and the evacuation of thousands of wild animals in an operation popularly known as NOAA. If any dam on this list is gonna wreak havoc on its surroundings, the likelihood of it being the Mazul Dam is the highest because of sinkholes that are undermining the safety of this dam. It was previously known as Saddam Dam and is the largest dam in Iraq. Located on the Tigris River in the western government of Nineveh, it serves to generate hydroelectricity and provide water for downstream irrigation. So what happens if, God forbid, the Mazul Dam collapses? The collision of this 131 meter high dam could send an 80 foot high torrent of water down the Tigris River Valley. It would engulf parts of Mazul about 25 miles away within a few hours, and Baghdad, which is around 210 miles further south, would be flooded in a matter of days. However, many countries including Iraq are now working to safeguard the dam, so hopefully nothing bad would happen. And we should move forward with our video.
India has many big dams, but has no match for a Dookie Dam, which is a marvel of modern engineering. It's a double curvature arch dam constructed across the Periyar River in a narrow gorge between two granite hills, which are locally known as Kuravan and Karadi, in Mariapuram village in Aduki district of Kerala state, India. The dam stands at a height of almost 168 meters and is one of the highest arch dams in Asia. It is constructed and owned by the Kerala State Electricity Board and supports a 780 megawatt hydroelectric power station in Mulamadam which started generating power on the 4th of October, 1975. With over 22,000 dams countrywide, China has no match when it comes to building dams. And this one on our list is an arch dam on the Lenkang River in Nanjing County, Yunnan Province, Southwest China. The primary objective of the dam is to generate hydroelectric power and was constructed between 2002 and 2010 by Hunang Power International at a cost of nearly $3.9 billion. Currently, it is the world's second highest arch dam at 292 meters, which now significantly regulates annual flow and trapped sediments. A mere look at this beastly dam gives anxiety no matter how brave the onlooker is. It's a 93 meter high concrete arch dam in Napa County of California, the United States. It was constructed between 1953 and 1957. The dam impounded Puta Creek to create Lake Berryessa in the Veke Mountains. The spillway of this dam has some reported deaths associated with it, and Monticello is noted for its classic spillway that drops straight down more than 200 feet and is known as the Glory Hole, with 22 meters diameter at the tip of the hole. The lake surrounding the hole is currently the seventh largest man-made lake in California. Water from the reservoir primarily supplies agriculture into the Sacramento Valley downstream. There's no need for this dam to get damaged or something to become a threat because it's a danger the way it is standing. And now let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. This image was sent to us by a subscriber. Similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it to us. Who knows? We might even feature it in one of our videos. Today's subscriber's pick is a picture of the Three Gorges Dam of China when its spillways are discharging water. It is the world's most powerful dam, the largest and biggest of all dams. Located on the Yangtze River in Hubei Province, China, west of the city of Yichang, the dam was China's most ambitious engineering project when it first began construction in 1994. It was the world's largest dam structure at the time of its completion in 2006. The dam and related hydropower plant were constructed in stages over several years. In 2012, it reached its maximum generating capacity. The dam allows ocean-going freighters to pass through and generates hydroelectric electricity. It was also designed to provide flood protection. However, the effectiveness of this feature is unknown as it hasn't been tested. While the Three Gorges Dam might be an engineering marvel, it's also laden with controversy. The dam's construction resulted in the displacement of at least 1.3 million people and the destruction of natural features in countless rare architectural and archaeological sites. Not only that, the dam's 31,900,000 acres of water reservoir is blamed for an increase in the number of landslides and earthquakes in the region. Experts show concern that the earthquakes could also undermine the safety of the dam itself and collision of the dam would mean doomsday for Hawaii province. This arch dam on the Versaska River in the Val Versaska of Ticino, Switzerland, is also known as the Versaska Dam and the Locarno Dam. The dam creates Lago di Vigorno, 1.2 miles upstream of Lake Maggiore, and supports the Versaska hydroelectric power station, which generates 105 megawatts. It was built between 1961 and 1965 and a series of earthquakes partially ruined its reputation as they were connected to its water load, which began immediately after its reservoir was filled and continued until 1971. The 220 meters high dam is the fourth tallest in Switzerland and is a popular bungee jump spot. It all started when a James Bond stuntman leapt off it in the opening scene of the 1995 film GoldenEye. The stunt was chosen to be the best movie stunt of all time in a poll conducted by Sky Movies in 2002. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.